Hi, today's question is when crossing a homozygous recessive with heterozygous, what is the chances of getting an offspring with the homozygous recessive phenotype? And here is the five answers that you may choose from. If you need the time, you may stop video here, think about this question, choose your uh, answer and compare your answer with my answer in explanations. So, uh, in order to explain you how we are going to solve this problem, let me first uh, show you human karyotype and as you see here this is male phenotype uh, karyotype because we have X chromosome and Y chromosome and female phenotype would be two X chromosomes. So I will use chromosome number one in order to explain you what different um, uh, phenotypes you may get for one particular allele. So, for example, here we have a gene and uh, as long as uh, one uh, gene would be from the mother side, another from the father side and every other pair of chromosomes that is present here, for example, chromosome number 2, 3, 4 and so on, uh, every uh, set of chromosomes would have one chromosome derived from the mother side, another one from the father side. I won't uh, draw uh, these letters for all these uh, sets of chromosomes, but uh, you got an idea that uh, uh, every pair of chromosomes uh, consists of one chromosome that we got from our mother side and another from our father side. So uh, that also means that we have uh, two sets of uh, genes that is, uh, would be uh, the same or almost the same because sometimes we may have situation when uh, genes are slightly different. For example, on one chromosome we may have uh, one gene uh, that would be dominant, on another one we may have slightly different variant that would be recessive. And such condition we call uh, heterozygote, so the, we designate it with capital A and small a. And we also may have a uh, homozygous dominant condition with capital A, capital A. And we also may have uh, homozygous recessive that we use small a, small a. And in order to solve this problem, we just have to build a Punnett square and we told that we have to cross uh, homozygous recessive with uh, heterozygote. So on one side we will use heterozygote, that is capital A, small a, and on the other side of the Punnett square we are going to use uh, homozygous recessive, that is small a, small a. So now we build a Punnett square and here would be our outcomes of such a cross. So here we would have small a capital A, small a capital A, small a small a, small a small a. And as you see 50% of such cross uh, would be homozygous recessive and we ask it in our question for the recessive phenotype that is going to be uh, small a small a and this is going to be 50 percent we also may say that this is going to be two out of four or it's also one half so all this uh, three different variants of answer would be correct so here is our correct answer that is going to be c uh, that's all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my new videos that I post almost every day. Goodbye.